the jack drops in the ditch the tin wood man the journey to the great oz the travelers who undertook the journey the lion the tin wood man dorothy the dog and the scarecrow this was to be an eventful day for the travelers eventful day means all different events taking place and on that day they had hardly been walking hardly been walking means they had walked very little so they had hardly been walking an hour when they saw before them what did they see a great ditch that crossed the road so on the road there was a great ditch and divided the forest as far as they could see on either side the great ditch divided the forest so it uh, went to the right and to the left for a long distance it was a very wide ditch it was stretching from right to the left and when they crept up to the edge so when they came nearer to the edge edge is where the ditch starts they crept up to the edge came crept means walk slowly crept means walk slowly they walked slowly up to the edge and what did they do they looked into it they could see it was also very deep the ditch was also very deep and there were many big jagged rocks at the bottom we had seen the image of the jagged rocks at the starting these jagged rocks were at the bottom of the pit of the ditch the sides were so steep that none of them could climb the sides of the ditch they were very steep just like walls in the in our classroom and none of them could climb so nobody was able to climb down because if they started climbing down they would would fall and where would they fall on the jagged rocks and they may break their bones and their skull and for a moment it seemed that journey must end journey must end what shall we do what shall we do asked dorothy despairingly despairingly means losing all hopes she did not have any hopes of continuing the journey further i haven't the faintest idea said the tin wood man i haven't the faintest idea said the tin wood man and the lion shook his shaggy mane mane is the hair on the neck of the lion and looked thoughtful the lion shook his mane as if he was very thoughtful but the scarecrow said we cannot fly that is certain we cannot fly that is certain neither can we climb down into this great ditch so they are unable to fly they are unable to climb down uh, the great ditch therefore if we cannot jump over it we must stop where we are so scarecrow he is scared scared to carry out the journey any further he wants to stop where they are now i think i could jump over it said the cowardly lion lions are normally brave they are very strong and brave but this lion was cowardly the opposite of brave is coward so this cowardly lion he said he, he could jump over the uh, ditch 
so how he could uh, find it out after measuring the distance carefully in his mind so he had to apply his mind in order to measure the distance because they did not have any other means of measuring the distance so he takes a judgment the lion he has to take a judgment whether he would be able to jump over the ditch and cross it over otherwise he may fall into the ditch then we are all right then we are all right answered the scarecrow now he is suggesting something very useful for you can carry us all over on your back one at a time so that lion could carry them all but not all of them together they should be carried one at a time somebody first has to go with him then the second and then the third so it would be one at a time well i'll try it well i'll try it said the lion the lion agreed now the lion wanted to know who will go first i will declared the scarecrow declared means told he, he decided and gave his decision that he would like to go for if you found that you could not jump over the gulf he the scarecrow is telling the lion if you found that you could not jump over the gulf dorothy would be killed or the tin wood man badly dented on the rocks below so scarecrow is telling if you cannot jump over the gulf what is the gulf the ditch the ditch which is separating the two land parts they have to cross the ditch so there is a gulf between the two land parts so dorothy would be killed if dorothy goes on the back of the lion dorothy will fall down and get killed or the tin wood man badly dented because it is made of tin so what will happen to it it will get badly dented on the rocks below the rocks are jagged rocks so it will get hurt but if i am on your back it will not matter so much for the fall would not hurt me at all the fall would not hurt Wh- whom it would not hurt the scarecrow because the scarecrow is just made of a cloth it will not hurt the scarecrow i am terribly afraid of falling myself said the cowardly lion so the lion himself is afraid of falling but i suppose there is nothing to do but try it so there are no other options either he has to try or not try so if they, he did not try then the journey will be stopped so get on my back and we will make the attempt get on my back and we will make the attempt make the attempt means try give it a try the scarecrow sat upon the lion's back and the big beast walked to the edge of the gulf and crouched down crouched down means down means sat down why don't you run and jump why don't you run and jump asked the scarecrow the scare- scarecrow is very intelligent so he is suggesting the lion why don't you run and jump 
now the lion is explaining because that isn't the way we lions do these things or he replied the lion replied because that isn't the way the lions do these things then giving a great spring he shot through the air and landed safely on the other side giving a great spring means he acted like a spring on his hind legs uh, behind legs he acted like a spring and he shot through the air shot through the air means he jumped into the air and landed safely on the other side landed means he was on the other side he was on the land on the other side they were all greatly pleased to see how easily he did it so the other all the others they were greatly pleased they were very happy why were they happy to see how easily he did it and after the scarecrow had got down from his back the lion sprang across the ditch again and after the scarecrow had got down from his back the lion sprang across the ditch again why did he do it so he wanted to come back to the others on the this side of the ditch dorothy dorothy thought she would go next so she took toto in her arms now who is toto the dog so dorothy took the uh, took toto in her arms and climbed on the lion's back holding tightly to his mane with one hand the next moment it seemed as if they were flying through the air and then before she had time to think about it she was safe on the other side the lion went back a third time and got the tin woodman and then they all sat down for a few moments to give the beast a chance to rest for his great leaps and had made him his breath short for his great leaps had made his breath short and he panted like a big dog that has been running too long so how was he panting he was panting like a big dog panting means taking air breath breathing in a short interval very fast breathing very fast panting like a dog they found the forest very thick how was the forest there it was very thick on this side and it looked dark and gloomy dark and gloomy gloomy means sad after the lion had rested they started along the road of yellow brick silently wondering each in his own mind if ever they would come to the end of the woods and reach the bright sunshine again to add to their discomforts they soon heard strange noises in the depths of the forest 
and the lion whispered to them that it was in this part of the country that the kalidas lived what are the kalidas what are the kalidas asked the girl dorodi they are monstrous beasts they are monstrous beasts what kind of beasts they are their bodies are like bears and heads like tigers so the monstrous beasts kalidas what kinds of beasts they are they are monstrous beasts so they are like monsters how were their bodies they are like bears and heads they are like tigers replied the lion and with claws so long and sharp that they could tear me in two as easily i could kill toto i am terribly afraid of the kalidas who said it the lion i am not surprised that you are that you are scared that you are means that you are scared returned dorodi returned dorodi means replied she told that she was not surprised if the lion was afraid why like that because they must be dreadful beasts so it is okay if you are scared of the those beasts what kind of beast they must be they must be dreadful beasts dreadful means fearful if you look at them you will get frightened dreadful means frightening the lion was about to reply when suddenly they came to another gulf across the road the lion was about to reply he was just waiting to reply when suddenly they came to another gulf gulf is the gap between the two roads so they came across a gulf but this one was so broad and deep that the lion knew it at once that he could not leap across it this gulf or this ditch was so broad very broad and deep very deep and the lion knew the lion knew he could not leap across it he could not leap jump he could not jump jump across it so he could, they won't be able to cross this wide gap or the gulf so they sat down to consider they sat down to consider what they should do what they should do and after see, serious thought the scarecrow said after serious thought after thinking seriously for a while what did the scarecrow say here is a great tree standing close to the ditch here is a great tree standing close to the ditch if the tin wood man can chop it down so that will fall to the other side we can walk across it easily it will act like a bridge that is a first rate idea first rate idea means new idea nobody ever had thought about that idea so it was a first rate idea said the lion one would almost suspect you had brains in your head instead of straw so the lion or anybody 
anybody would think that the the scarecrow it must be having straw in his head but the lion was convinced that he had brains the scarecrow had brains in his head the woodman set to work at once set to work started working set to work at once without wasting time and so sharp was his axe that the tree was soon chopped nearly through then the lion put his strong front legs against the tree and pushed with all his might might means strength with all his strength he pushed the tree and slowly the big tree tipped and fell with a crash across the ditch with its top branches on the other side so finally they could chop off the tree and uh, the tree the top branches of the tree they fell on the other side of the great gulf they had just started to cross just started to cross this queer bridge queer means a new type of bridge it is not a bridge but it can act like a bridge they had just started to cross this queer bridge when a sharp growl made them all look up and to their horror they saw running towards them two great beasts with the bodies like bears and heads like tigers so what kind of beasts were they they had bodies like bears and heads like tigers they are the kalidas said the cowardly lion beginning to tremble tremble means shake with fear your body will start shaking trembling so he was trembling the cowardly lion as soon as he saw the kalidas he was trembling quick cried the scarecrow let us cross over let us cross over so dorothy went first holding toto in her arms the tin woodman followed followed means he went after dorothy and then the scarecrow came next the last one was uh, to come was the scarecrow the lion although he was certainly afraid turned to face the kalidas and then he gave so loud and terrible a roar that dorothy screamed and the scarecrow fell over backward while even the fierce beasts stopped short and looked at him in surprise so he shouted so he so loudly that the scarecrow fell over backward and even the fierce beasts the kalidas they stopped short this just stopped and looked at the lion in surprise they were surprised that he could shout so much but seeing they were bigger than the lion the kalidas are bigger than the lion and remembering that there were two of them so there were two kalidas and only one of him means only one lion the kalidas again rushed forward so they started rushing towards the lion and the lion crossed over the tree and turned to see what they would do next 
so the lion crossed the tree and turned to see what they would do the next without stopping an instant without stopping for even a moment the fierce beasts also began to cross the tree so the fierce beasts the kalidas they did not stop they also started crossing the tree and the lion said to dorodi and the lion said to dorodi we are lost for they sh- will surely tear us to pieces with the sharp sharp claws but stand close behind me and i will fight them as long as i am alive so the lion is assuring that he would fight as long he is alive wait a minute called scarecrow he had been thinking wait a minute said the scarecrow he had been thinking what was the best to be done and now he asked the woodman to chop away the end of the tree that rested on the side of the ditch the tin woodman began to use his axe at once and just as the two kalidas were nearly across the tree fell with a crash into the gulf carrying the ugly snake the tin wood man began to use his axe at once so he started using the axe and just as the two kalidas were nearly across the tree fell with a crash with a sound where did it fall into the gulf carrying the ugly snarling brutes with it and both were dashed to pieces on the sharp rocks at the bottom well said the cowardly lion drawing a long breath of relief so he felt at last that the danger is over so he was relieved he was drawing a long breath of relief i see i see we are going to live a little while longer so he was assured that they would have a longer life and i am glad of it i am glad of it for it must be a very uncomfortable thing not to be alive so according to the cowardly lion not to be alive is an uncomfortable thing those creatures frightened me so badly that my heart is beating yet so the heart of the lion is still beating ah oh, said the tin wood man sadly i wish i had a heart to beat the tin wood man is made of tin so he did not have a heart so he is wishing that he had a heart to beat this adventure made the travelers more anxious than ever to get out of the forest so this adventure the they are moving through the jungle and this adventure has made the travelers more anxious more anxious than ever so they are anxious they are curious they want to get out of the forest as soon as possible and they walked so fast and they walked so fast that dorodi became tired and had to ride on the lion's back so dorodi she was very very tired after walking fast to the great joy the trees became thinner the farther they advanced 
the trees became thinner means the dis- distance between the trees went on increasing as they advanced further and in the afternoon they suddenly came upon a broad river flowing swiftly just before them on the other side of the water they could see the road of yellow brick running through a beautiful country beautiful country beautiful country with green meadows dotted with bright flowers and all the road bordered with trees trees hanging full of delicious fruits they were greatly pleased to see this delightful country before them meadows are gardens they were dotted with bright flowers so there were many many bright flower plants and all the road bordered with trees hanging full of delicious fruits so what was the uh, trees having the trees were fruit trees they had delicious fruits they were greatly pleased to see this delightful country before them <laughs>